So somebody is trying to figure out how can they make a situation right? How can they get something balanced out? This could be someone who feels lost with the two of pentacles. They could also be juggling too much at one time. And it kind of, if, if this person is someone who is trying to make the right decision, they have to clear their mind. They have to um, balance out whatever this is that they're juggling. We have the Knight of Cups. So this is someone who is definitely wanting to um, this could be ask you out. They're planning some type of meetup. They're planning to communicate, but they don't know how to. This is someone who is not used to being expressive, so they don't know what to say. And that's what's keeping them in this Two of Pentacles. But in order for them to make the right decision, because they're all over the place, they have to clear their mind. They have to release whatever is bothering them. Now, this could just be them going through too much in life. And they have to release certain things. Or this could them, this could be them going back and forth in their head. They're contemplating. And then it's like they don't know how to do something and they don't know who to turn to. But whatever they're wanting to do, this is something that they're going to do or they have to do by themselves. It does not require anyone else. So this is someone who is going to have to go with using their intuition. This could be someone who needs to take um, like some time to retreat, to clear their mind. So this could be this person needing to leave someone behind leave behind what does not serve them and if this isn't someone else that wants to come toward you this could be you you could be unsure about something you could be going through a lot juggling a lot and at this time someone is wanting to come toward you there's some type of decision that has to be made but in order for that decision to be made, you have to like release what is bothering you. You have to have a clear mind to make that decision once this person comes toward you. Because you don't want to kind of stay in this energy going towards a person or someone coming toward you and they're seeing that you're all over the place. And I'm getting if this person is someone that's in the two of pentacles and they're wanting to come toward you, they don't want to come toward you in this energy of you seeing they don't have things balanced out. This person could be still attached to things that they have to leave behind in order to see balance with justice being here in order to make the right decision. Because this, this is what's keeping them stagnant or keeping them unsure. Something that they have to leave behind. If this is someone coming toward you. Yeah, something isn't working. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Or this could be someone that they work for. This could be a job. This could be someone that they're trying to work with. This could be a person they feel like was going to help them get to the next level. They'll be successful with this person. Whatever they're trying to build with this person, it keeps falling apart. 
it's because it's not going to work. They're not supposed to be doing whatever they're doing with that person. They have to leave that person behind. They're not going to gain some type of success the way that they thought with that person. And if this person thought they were going to be successful off of the person that's coming toward you and they're trying to make them unsure, they don't want that person to be strong enough to make their own decision, it's not working anymore, whatever they were doing and they're realizing they have to leave this person behind. Yeah, they have to set boundaries. Somebody could suffer from abandonment issues. This is why they're trying to hold so hold on so tight to this person. We have the chariot. This person is someone that could have been also nervous about moving forward because they know the road that they're on this journey they're getting ready to take they have to take by their self so it's like they could have been nervous holding their self back holding their self um i mean keeping their holding on to this person that they know they have to leave behind and it has them all over the place Now, whatever challenges this Knight of Cups have faced, um, the challenges have made that person stronger. So this could have made them kind of like grew tired. It's like they grew tired of something that they could have repeatedly done over and over and over again. And now they're just ready to move forward. This is someone who did not know how strong they were. They didn't think they were strong enough to be able to move on. So they've been kind of keeping their self in this two of pentacles, holding on to what needs to be left behind. In order for them to move forward, this is like being scared, being afraid. Being afraid of change. This is someone who has to adapt to changes, new things, a new beginning, a new cycle, the world on the bottom of the deck in order to be able to move on, move forward, take control of the direction that their life is headed. This also, it's like if they were doing something with this person they could feel like, okay, what am I going to be able to do to be successful? This is someone who needs to believe in their own potential. They don't need to um, believe in what other people want them to believe or just believe what other people tell them. They have to have self-belief in order to be able to see their self succeeding wherever they're headed. It's like they know whatever they've been trying to do with that person is not working and they could be all over the place, just fed up. They know they have to leave this person behind. They knew in the past, but they didn't. And now they're realizing they their strength was being tested. This entire time, So that they will be able to like move forward, move in the direction that they're supposed to be going and they'll come out on top. It's like victory has already been won. They just have to take the proper steps. This is someone who needs to clear their mind, move away from things that don't serve purpose so they can make the right decision with their next move.
somebody has to realize if they don't believe something can happen the way that they want it to happen, if they don't have that self-belief, it's not going to happen. If they're around people that are uninspiring, they don't really want them to win. They're not there to inspire you. You're only attached to this person because they're in a lower vibrational energy. And that's what's keeping you attached to them. They're lost. You feel lost. And it kind of like keep you all over the place. This is why they kind of need to, um, they could also feel like they don't have anyone to turn to outside of this person, like to vent to, to get advice from. It's because it's within. They have to clear out a certain energy in order to allow their intuition to guide them in the right direction. We have unexpected income. And then main female. So somebody could. So this could be someone who is wanting to give you something. This could be something that's unexpected. This could be this person, this Knight of Cups. They're wanting to give you something. Then we have the lover. So yeah, this is someone who they want to show you instead of expressing their self, it's like they've thought about what to say, but they also want to show you how they feel. This person is coming towards you like in an energy of opening up and they're also wanting to like show you, gift you. This person wants to show you that they're in love with you. Yeah, and you're the only one that's on this person's mind with the main female being here. Okay, so we have a date, we have hookup, travel. This is someone who wants to get away with you. Um, but I don't know if this person does not want you to know. It's like this person knows that you're someone who has boundaries with travel being here. Um, so they just don't know how to go about telling you that they want to spend time with you. They want to get away with you. It's more than just them expressing their emotions, opening up. It's like things are going to take off pretty quick after um, somebody expresses how they feel. Yeah, it's like you've helped somebody improve or you've helped somebody want to change or heal. You've helped this person to believe in their self. So, okay, at a time that this person wanted to connect with you in the past, there was some type of blockage. There was something that they were doing with another person. Um, and whatever they were doing with that person was something that was just not going to work. And the more and more they invested around this person or in this person, they lost. 
they kept taking losses, but these were lessons that they needed to learn so they could move forward. So they could gain the strength and the courage to move forward on their own. Whether this was a friendship, um, a relationship, business partners, something had to end out. Something had to be over in order for them to come out victorious, in order for them to see their true potential, see their self succeeding. 